We're learning more about an alleged kidnapping and sexual assault in Utah County involving a 17-year-old boy and a 12-year-old girl. Fox 13 News anchor Brian Schnee joins us live from Spanish Fork after speaking with the sheriff's deputy who pulled over the suspect early this morning. Brian. Bob and Kelly, good evening. It was that lieutenant's intuition that prompted them to basically investigate further into this situation that stemmed from that traffic stop involving a teenage boy behind the wheel and a young girl in the passenger seat. I drive that road every morning. The norm is to get up early and I have a regular routine. Carson out of place this morning and I thought it I thought it warranted more attention. Lieutenant Tom Hodgson has decades of law enforcement experience. It's his gut feeling while on patrol Tuesday morning that uncovered something much bigger. I thought that was odd at 510 in the morning uh, to be in a closed business. Uh, I drove past the vehicle initially. Uh, made a decision to turn around and go check on it. As he turned back, the vehicle was on Main Street in Spanish Fork, heading the other direction, traveling roughly 20 miles per hour over the speed limit. Lieutenant Hodgson conducted a traffic stop. Had some hesitancy answering basic questions. Hodgson said neither the male driver nor female passenger could provide identification. Initially, the stories just weren't consistent. Um, uh, things weren't adding up, and so I decided to dig into it a little deeper. The driver also couldn't provide paperwork for the vehicle or say who owned it. With some help from Riverton Police, they learned the car was stolen out of Salt Lake County early Tuesday morning. Initially, he told me uh, uh, an age, which turns out he was not of that age. The young lady told me her age, which uh, uh, ended up she was a 12-year-old female. She did not tell me that age initially. Police say before the traffic stop. When a child is involved, you dig a little deeper. The boy sexually assaulted the girl. According to police, the 17-year-old boy met the 12-year-old on social media, and they've known each other for about two months. The boy came to pick up the girl at her home around 4 a.m. He saw some basic things that were just out of whack, and he was able to identify something was wrong. Detective Ray Flores has worked around children, specifically teenagers, during his time assigned as a school resource officer. You have people that will fish for younger juveniles than themselves, and they'll seek out the vulnerable ones. They'll seek out the ones that look like they have problems at home who are expressing those problems from, from their households, and they play off of that. They're the friend. They understand where they're coming from. Um, they misrepresent their age. Uh, they send pictures that are not actually of themselves. Detective Flores advises parents to monitor their children's electronic communications, whether it be text messages or on social media platforms. When you've been doing this job as long as I have and you're in the law enforcement world, we develop a soft spot for children and we want to do everything we can to protect those children. A Utah County Sheriff's deputy booked that 17-year-old boy into a detention center in Provo on charges of vehicle theft, kidnapping, among other charges. Now, Spanish Fork Police is investigating the alleged sex crimes. Live in Spanish Fork tonight, Brian Schnee, Fox 13 News, Utah.